Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tommy and today I'm going to be sharing with you what is inside this box over here. If it's your first time here on this channel, my name is Tommy and I'm a portrait photographer from Melbourne and what I like to do on this channel is to share some of my behind the scenes on photo shoots and some of my thoughts on photography and also some tutorials. And so please consider subscribing if you want to see more of those. So actually this box, uh, one of my really good friends gave it to me, his name is Sam Choi and he said, Tommy, I think you're going to have a better use for this camera than I am. And I was like, okay, sure, let's see what it is. And so in this video, I'm going to be opening up this box and seeing exactly what is inside. Okay, so here, as you can see, it says Jeju Cherry Blossom Turn Up Camera. Oh, cool. All right, so we've just opened up the box and what you can see is there's a shutter button, there's a film count, there's a flash button, and you can see that it's a Superior Extra 400, and so that's the ISO that it's working with. It's got 27 shots of film, and then there's a toggle for here, flash on and off. So let's open up the plastic real quick. So this is what the camera looks like. If you guys don't already know, I've got some experience with a disposable camera previously. And so what I think I might do with this camera is to bring it along with some of my shoots and to get some extra photos. And with those photos, I'm gonna compile them all into this video that you're watching right now. Hopefully I've got some good shots here. And so please enjoy. So it's been a few weeks and I've done quite a few shoots with the disposable camera now. And I actually got it sent through to get it developed. So let's see how these photos look. Um, I'm really excited to see how the results went because I've never used this um, disposable camera before. I reckon this one came out really well. It really makes the skin tone look really smooth. I'm not sure if there's anything within the camera that made it look like that, but I reckon this photo came out really well. We used the Macca's sign and so there's surprisingly not too much noise or grain. So I think this disposable camera works better than other disposable cameras that I've used previously because this one, I think it has some smoothening function maybe. This one actually performed really, really well for a disposable camera. I think the overall tones and shadows and the highlights of this photo in particular made it like really, like, I'm not sure how it did it to be honest. The backlight in this one is like really perfect and the, the light distribution of this one is really perfect. I'm not sure how it was exposed so well. So I'm really happy with this one. Yeah, and that was all the photos. Um, I really liked taking these photos, the whole process of not knowing what you're gonna take. I come from a digital photography background, so having a disposable camera or like a film camera is really fun and you know, it's a good change. I hope you enjoyed all of these photos as well. Please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments which photo you liked the most. If you wanna see more content from me, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, that's my, probably my big thumb in the photo.